Good morning and welcome to this year's Indiana 4-H Leadership Summit. My name is Tony Carroll and I am a program specialist in the State 4-H office. We are thrilled to deliver this program in partnership with Indiana 4-H Foundation and sponsors. Today's program is being recorded on Zoom and is live streamed on YouTube. Today you will participate in sessions designed around our educational mission areas, healthy living, science, and civic engagement. It is our hope that adult and served as a delegate coordinator for the Indiana State Fair Youth Leadership Conference and as a member of the National Youth Congress Leadership Design Team. Ethan will be a member of the 2021 State 4-H Junior Leader Council. Thomas Carroll recently completed his 10th year of 4-H in Lawrence County and is a freshman at Purdue, Purdue Fort Wayne campus. Thomas has been active in junior leaders and as a member of the Teens as Teachers program. Thomas served on the 20, 2020 State 4-H Junior Leader Council and will continue in that role in 2021. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, individual, for liberty and justice for all. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living. For my club, my community, my country, and my world. Thank you, Ethan and Thomas. It would not be a true 4-H event if we did not have some get acquainted mixers. For those of you participating from a site, remember to always practice social distancing and personal protection. These mixer activities only, only require you to talk to each other, so moving around is not necessary. Anyone participating from home can also participate. We are going to start off with two ditloids. A ditloid is a type of word puzzle showing a combination of letters and numbers that are the clue to a common phrase. Here is an example. 3BM is three blind mice. As the next ditloid appears on the screen, talk among your group and determine what the phrase is. Once you know the phrase, type the answer in the chat box. The chat box can be located on the Zoom uh, toolbar at the bottom part of your screen. And you may use this chat function throughout the day as questions arise. Do we have any takers? To magic to be believed, not quite. Think in 4-H terms. You got a couple that got it right, Tony. Oh, there we go. Hey, it's John Hamilton. In. Yes, there we go. To make the best better. There we go, to make the best better. And so now we've gotten warmed up, let's do a second one now. A little bit more difficult. Oh, there we go. Becky Holbert has it, the seven wonders of the world, yes. And so um, next we're gonna try a trivia question. And once your group knows the answer to this, type that in the chat box. There are four, known to us, perhaps there are more, perfectly recognizable and understandable words in the English language having one of each vowel in reverse alphabetical order. What are those words? And this is definitely going to take some teamwork. And even if you get one word figured out, go ahead and type it in the chat box.
Oh, Utopia is one. Yes. Um, that was not on the answer list, but that is exactly but, correct. But Tony, you might have to spell Utopia right, though. I'm sorry? You might have to spell Utopia right. There's only not an E in it, but it's a good uh, try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's why it's not on the answer list. Then. <laughs> that was a really good try. Could always create some new words this morning, Tony. That might be fun. Yeah. As long as it's 4 H appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Any other tries? We're stumped. Oh, well, let's, that's not the 4 H way. We've got to keep, keep trying. Ooh, Hamilton County. I can't believe it's quiet in Hamilton County. It is a very tough question. We'll give it a couple more seconds. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Um, unofficial wrong order, though. Well, Steve, let's give them the answers. And the, these four words are subcontinental, uncomplimentary, unoriental, and unnoticeably. So very good. And so I hope this has gotten everyone in the mood of, and uh, ready to learn today. While mixers typically require physical interaction, as you just experienced, we can still have meaningful mixers in a virtual environment. I did a quick Google search and found today's free mixer activities at www.businessballs.com and click on team building games to find more of these. Today's events could not happen without the 4-H, Indiana 4-H Foundation's financial support from their funding, funding partners. On your screen are today's sponsors. Many of them are businesses in your local community. Please let them know how much you appreciate them supporting state level activities and events. At your host sites, there are a list of these sponsors along with their contact names and addresses. If you are at home, you'll find a link to this file on the Leadership Summit webpage. We have also provided some thank you notes. We would appreciate you taking time while you are participating in the summit today to write a couple of notes to these sponsors. At this time, I want to turn the program over to Madison Powell, who will introduce this morning's keynote speaker. Madison is, is in her 10th year of 4-H in Tipton County and is joining us today from the Hamilton County site. She has been extremely active in 4-H school and community activities. She was a 4-H member in the, of the 2020 Teens as Teachers State Team and will be serving on the 2021 State 4-H Junior Leader Council. 